Science. Hospitals are usually seen as places where lives are saved. But going to hospital does have its risks. Each year, three million people catch nosocomial illnesses and 50,000 die from them. Nosocomial comes from the Greek nosokomio, which means hospital. Infections are considered nosocomial if they first appear 48 hours or more after hospital admission or within 30 days after discharge. To combat this problem, hospitals are testing several techniques, both new and old. Here at Birmingham Hospital, a test ward has been equipped with copper, from door handles to dinner trays. Copper is said to reduce the risk of infection. The antimicrobial activity of copper has been known from laboratory work. So by the simple application of copper with an array, we have got the propensity of having added protection for our patients. Over a year and a half, researchers have been analysing the presence of microbes in this test ward compared with a traditional ward. So this is a swab that would have been taken from one of the surfaces in the hospital ward. Dr Casey takes samples from the copper-equipped test ward and others taken in a standard ward. They are then put inside petri dishes used to grow the bacteria. are placed inside a drying kiln. After 24 hours, the result is unequivocal. In the copper-equipped ward, 99% of the bacteria has disappeared. That's not the case in the other ward. From piping to door handles, it's believed copper could help considerably reduce the number of infections. Now we think that the copper generates very small amounts of a poisonous molecule called hydrogen peroxide. And that hydrogen peroxide will start to kill the organisms on the surface and it'll take 10 to 30 minutes to kill them. In Belgium, researchers are looking into another kind of metal, silver. Here at the AGC Glass Europe Research Centre in Jumé near Charleroi, they have developed a special kind of glass containing silver ions to fight the spread of bacteria. Silver is well known for its antimicrobial action. For example, back in Roman times already, officers who ate out of silverware fell ill far less often than their soldiers. A simple test shows how efficient the technique is. Here, bacteria is placed on a piece of glass containing silver. And here on another regular piece of glass. After 24 hours, the samples are removed. In the sample placed on the iron-infused glass, there are hardly any bacteria left, whereas the bacteria is still highly present on the regular glass. This special antibacterial glass is now being used in several hospitals. The waiting room has already been equipped with antibacterial windows, and we plan to do that more and more in at-risk zones, or in intensive care wards where there are large glass surfaces. Some hospitals regularly carry out checks to find out if there are any patients with antibiotic-resistant bacteria that could cause nosocomial infections. The use of new materials is a big step forward in the fight against hospital-acquired diseases, but it doesn't replace simple basic hygiene. Bacteria is first and foremost transmitted through unclean hands.